Hey guys, hey, um, welcome back, welcome back to some more, um, video stuff, um, I meant to actually do this one for a while now, but I kept forgetting to do it, um, I'm gonna be talking about the Super Mario movie, but I'm gonna be talking about Princess Peach particularly, um, I'll be going into detail of that, about that in a second, um, but before we do that, um, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I would really help it. It would really be helpful to do that. Um, I didn't get to do this video earlier because um, I was gonna. I wanted to do this video earlier, but my dad was playing video games in the living room, and I felt like that would have been kind of distracting for you guys to hear that. Um, it's bad enough when you gotta hear my puppy at times in the background, but hearing them again going constantly, that probably would have been kind of annoying, so I didn't get to do that, and also I was um, watching the Lightyear movie, because I'm going to be reviewing that tomorrow, but I'm going to be reviewing that tomorrow for you guys, um, for Pixar, so yeah, I'm going to be reviewing that movie tomorrow, so I, it took, it. that movie's about two hours long, so it took a little while to get to it, but I finally did get to that movie too to so I can review that. But we're not going to be reviewing the Lightyear movie right now. What we're going to be doing is talking about Princess Peach. So, um, yes. This will not be this will not be a news related video. This will be a, more of a thoughts and theories. So, um, yeah, so... Now, what, now the thoughts and theories are uh, um, stuff that, like, um... They usually are things like um, either controversial, like they're people are split on these things, or they're they're topics that are like, uh, you know, like they could be theories on like certain characters on a show or something. Like maybe people have certain theories of, of a particular character or something like that. Because I have some characters I'm going to be doing down the road with Spongebob and Family Guy that I'm going to be talking about that are also thoughts and theories. But those are, um, but those are going to be, um, later down the road. The reason why I'm bringing this up, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because, um, as you guys know, the, the Super Mario Brothers movie is, is very big. Like, people are talking about it all over the internet. It's really big. And, um, not only they're talking all over about it, people are kind of not sure what to think about the movie, like if it's going to be good or bad, because um, Illumination hasn't been no known for having the best uh, films out there. Now, my personal opinion, I think they have okay films. Probably the worst film I've had to see was A Secret Life of Pets, so that movie was uh, pretty, well, pretty hard to sit, what was it? It was like all over the place, but um, that was probably my least favorite uh, pick. I mean, Illumination movie, because that one was uh, pretty close to getting a bad. But if you guys want to hear my thoughts on that stuff, you can check out my Illumination reviews. That's where I re review that stuff. But um, but yeah, but but yeah, people are kind of don't know what to think about this movie until it comes out. People were concerned about the trailers, but. The trailers came out and people are really hyped about this movie now. People are talking about it and uh, all that. Now, one thing people are actually kind of split on, though, about the movie is Princess Peach herself. Yes, Princess Peach herself. Basically, she's going to, I guess, um, she's going to be like the... She's going to be working with Mario to save Luigi and stuff. So, basically, she's basically this strong independent woman thing, uh, you know, that, that, you know, a lot of Hollywood people do. Now, here's the thing. That doesn't necessarily make this a bad thing. This could be a good thing, too. This could be. I'm not saying it's, it's bad that they're doing this. Um, to be fair, um, even in the past, Princess Peach, like in the cartoons, was known for being strong and independent at times. That that's fine, you know, because you know they gotta tell a story somehow, and there's only so much you can tell with, with uh, you know a story with Princess Peach getting kidnapped all the time and stuff. I mean they, I mean I watched the I watched the uh, Super Mario Brothers Brothers Super Show, and that got that got old after a while, honestly. 
seeing Princess Peach get kidnapped all the time. All she was preferred as Princess Toll still back then, but she's Princess Peach now, but I'm not sure why they changed her name when they did. But, um, the last time I think her name was actually mentioned, I think, was in Mario 64. I could be wrong. It, 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 that was at the beginning of the, the letter that, that she sent. She was known as Princess Tolstoy Peach, so her last name is Peach. I'm not sure if they brought it up in the Paper Mario game or not. I'm not sure because I haven't played that game in years. And I only played a certain p part of that game, so I'm not sure if they brought that up then. Actually, I don't know, she might, they might have mentioned it in Luigi's Mansion. I, I can't really remember. Because one of the Toads bring her up in the, week, the first Luigi's Mansion game, so I'm not really sure. But but I do know that, that she, in the past, has, for the most part, in the cartoon shows, other than the Super Mario Bros. Super Show, has actually been pretty well handled. She uh, did things on her own, and uh, yeah, she had Mario help her out and stuff, but... She kind of, you know, wasn't just a, 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 a damsel in distress. Now, the video games, I know they do that. You know, that's kind of the goal for Mario to rescue Princess Peach from Bowser. They can get away with that in the video games because video games are, uh, you know, those are, uh, well, they don't really have much of a story usually with those. But, but when it comes to a movie, like a film or a t episodes of a cartoon or something, that's different. They can't really just tell stories like that all the time. Because it'll get old after all. There's only so much you can do with it. So making her a strong, independent woman who's there to help Mario and not be captured. I think that could work. I think it could. As long as they're not in, in your face about it. Like they don't make Mario super dim-witted and make Princess Peach, you know... Like, doesn't need Mario for her help and stuff. Because that's what Disney's been doing with their films. They've been throwing at it. At you, they've been throwing it at you out of nowhere. Uh, they've, been, they've been doing that with Star Wars and, and Marvel. They did that with, uh, I hear, the live action. Um, the live action, uh, you know, Moan movie. Yeah, they did that. They turned Moan from, you know, trying to prove to herself that she, that she can help the... The men to basically make it her where she doesn't need them at all, and that basically destroys the whole point in the movie. But, but yeah, but again, I haven't seen all those movies. I'm just going off what people said. But um, I have seen some movies where Disney's done that, like they kind of push Woody aside in the fourth movie. I mean, the the doll kind of like one of the dolls' toys, like a you know a a strong. Like, well, not strong, well, more, 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 more so, uh, you know, the leader and stuff, and, and basically, um, Woody's just accepting it, like, he doesn't care or something, you know, but that's usually, that's only, like, a segment, so, but the fact that they're gonna be doing this throughout the entire movie, I don't know, it could go either way, I think it could work, as long as they don't keep doing this, and I think it'll be fine, because, uh, you know, because that's kind of how the story goes, you know, it gives Bowser a reason to, to attack, you know. I mean, there, there can be ways where he doesn't, there can be way, reasons why Bowser doesn't want to kidnap Princess Peach, like in Mario 3D World and stuff. But for the most part, um, Bowser usually is causes trouble because he wants Princess Peach. If you take that away, then, it doesn't, then Bowser's really not a villain anymore. So, uh, yeah, but... This could work. This actually could work. I could see this working in this movie. I could. Now again, if it, again, it could it could end up being bad too. But but I don't I don't think it's going to be that bad. I don't really see um Illumination really doing that honestly. But again, I could be wrong. They could they could totally ruin this and make Princess Peach unlikable and and by making her just. A, a strong independent woman by herself and turn Mario into a complete idiot but because I had some people complain about that I, I saw that um but I don't but I don't I don't know if that's actually the case I don't know I don't know if they're actually going to do that or not but but we we have to we can't really judge the movie until it actually comes out next month
And speaking of this video, this video actually won't be coming out until tomorrow because it's already almost midnight. So the time I upload this, because I have to re listen to it and stuff, it won't be uploaded until midnight, which is tomorrow. So this video won't upload until tomorrow. But but yeah, but um, but yeah, I just wanted to bring that up so you guys know. So the date might be, be a day, day ahead of when the video actually was being made, but that's okay. But anywho, um, yeah, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, this is kind of this is something people are kind of probably questioning, honestly. But I I think it could probably work. I think it probably could. Um, I again, as long as they're not being in your face about it and they don't continue this trend, because although I like Princess Peach having more of a character myself, I like her, you know, having more of a character. I like like for her to. You know, not just doesn't need anybody's help, and, for, and sometimes needs help from like Mario and Luigi or something to help her out with something. And instead of her doing it all by herself, you know, because that makes because that's not that's not how the real world is. I mean, I know it's a cartoon world, but the point of of a char characters and stuff in TV shows and movies is they're supposed to they're supposed to struggle at times. You know, sometimes they may need help, and when you just Constantly make them where they're strong and and basically don't and then basically doing everything on their by themselves. They really don't. They don't really have a character to, and no one to bounce off of. So it kind of ruins the character. So I don't know where this will go. Honestly, we'll have to really see. But um, but I am looking forward to this movie. I'm really hoping it's really good because I I want them to continue making video game movies. I know in the past Nintendo has not had the best record in making cartoons. I I have known the Zelda show. I've seen that show. Um, I might actually review that show down the road. I might review it. Um, because there's a, there's a Zelda show. I've reviewed um, I've reviewed um one Mario show so far. One Mario of the three. Technically, there was more than that. There was also King Koopa's. I you know show or something but that show is hardly available like there's hardly any footage of that show anymore so um so yeah unfortunately that's that show is pretty lost it, some people might find it down the road i guarantee it'll probably be found but for right now we don't have a lot of footage of that show because i like to review that show too it's about king koopa having his own show which is pretty cool but yeah, but I don't unfortunately have any footage of that, so I won't be reviewing that anytime soon. But I'm planning on probably later this year possibly reviewing the Zelda show. Um, I would review the new Super Mario, I mean the Super Mario Bros. Super show as well. But that show, I think it's going to be a little harder to review it because I won't be able to give it a score. Because I kind of want to have, you know, I want to be able to like give it a score and because there's ep episodes are kind of off and on it's kind of hard to, to to give it a score like some episodes are really good while others are really boring and and, and garbage but that's why i'll probably just just go do a seasonal review on that show down the road and talk about it but for right now i'm not going to be doing that but i will probably do the zelda show pretty soon i I just don't know when I'm going to be doing the, the video yet. I haven't figured that out. But I like to review the Zelda show. <laughs> but I can't. But I can't really do that right now. But I will try to down the road. Because there's a lot of Nintendo shows I can review. So, um, yeah. But anywho, anywho. I'm going to probably go ahead and let things go from here, though. I'm going to let, let things go from here. Um. If you guys enjoyed this, this this kind of stuff, then please hit that like button and subscribe, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And um, again, I would not judge judge this uh, this whole Princess Peach thing right off the bat either. I would wait till the movie comes out before you you, you know throw your opinion out there. But so far, this this it looks like it's gonna be pretty good. But again, I don't know about Princess Peach. Because again, I want her to like. I don't want her to just be be independent and strong. I want her to have a personality and and you know be and to be fight fighting. You know, you know, well, well fight by by side Mario or something. But having a uh, you know, I mean, they don't need to be kidnapped to have a personality. But I mean, like, give 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 her like a you know, give her like you know 
people to bounce off of, give her, like, pe people to help her out, you know? Because that'd be kind of cool, you know? Instead of just making her independent and not needing, not, basically not relying on anyone to help her, making her actually have a character. That's a problem with a lot of characters these days that just don't have that anymore, but... But I don't know, but... Anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go for real this time. Um, see you guys all next time, and bye-bye.